What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. Now, this is my second attempt to do this video. But no, I'm not late intentionally. I did it. There were some uploading issues, but we're here now. And you know what? It's Friday, and I do Lost Files Fridays where I post content that I meant to post, you know, when it first came out, but then something happened and I didn't get around to it. It's perfect timing so let's get into it tamar braxton being tamar braxton she posted in her instagram story i got a story y'all want to hear about it now for those of you who are not on instagram your instagram story is where you post things that you want people to see but it disappears in 24 hours so you still get the message out there but you don't get to keep the mess on your page permanently so this is exactly what tamar did she continued shall we play a guessing game i was threatened by a peach and a man i feel like if i did what they did they would have told you know basically everybody but because they don't want y'all to know how bleep up they are as people and city officials they ain't said ish it's beef and it's a real beef because your husband stepped to me period merry christmas it's funny to me that no one said anything maybe because they don't want you to know who they really are just because you don't address it don't mean it didn't happen manipulation is when they blame you for your reaction to their disrespect people started telling tamar if it's not directed it's not respected and for her to sit it with her chest it meaning a name name drop and i get it tamar was offended she wanted her story out there without name dropping because when she named drop then you know depending on the level of evidence that you have that this happened to you then there could come a defamation of character lawsuit and it could become bigger than she wants it to become but the problem without saying a name is that other people are being dragged into your mess that have absolutely nothing to do with it it was eva because her husband is unofficial i read between those lines it's not canny she said city officials must be eva right it's what i'm thinking well she did mention city officials in her rent doesn't that point to eva's husband that was my top two. I'm sure it was candy and tied. City officials, this person meant Eva and her husband. She let us know who it was in the post. If she wasn't going to say who, she could have kept her mouth shut, period. That's Tamar for you. Shaking my head, always drama. I heard it was Candy and Todd, but what did she do? I also don't see them threatening her either. But they are not city officials. It could have been Eva and her husband. You got a point there. Hopefully, it's all just a misunderstanding. I'm thinking Candy and Todd because she's the most permanent housewife on the show. After all of those comments and Eva getting tagged in different things, she then left a comment not i said a cat so tamar responded and it's not sorry eva wasn't trying to pull you in some foul itch broken heart emoji now eva husband is no longer a city official he was a former city official if you all remembered eva husband was running to become the mayor of atlanta at one point and then he went ahead and withdrew his name from the race and then endorsed a different candidate so yes at one point he was a city official but he's no longer that however he is still an attorney out here in georgia so i get the former peach eva held a peach at one point and her husband was a city official okay but here's the reason why people think that tamar braxton is talking about candy burrs and her husband todd tucker there are people that if they are well respected and very connected within a city people give them titles or they have self-proclaimed titles when tamar and candy were on celebrity big brother well, for those of you who watch the show they had their differences and for the most part people just felt like there were moments where tamar was performing for the cameras because when she was explaining all of these things that she felt that Candy did to her and wronged her, Candy looked confused. Candy was laughing. 
Candy was like, where is all this coming from? And Tamar was just there with the theatrics. She was crying. She was carrying on. There was a moment there where Candy looked like, is she performing for the cameras right now? Regardless if you believe if Tamar was genuinely hurt or not, it worked because Tamar won the show. She and Candy were able to discuss their differences and moved on. Now, since the show, everything seems to be going fine. But then recently, Tamar Braxton was on Dish Nation. And they brought up the interview that Candy did saying that, I'm going to summarize, Carlos King attempted to, you know, steal her life story and do an unauthorized movie about not only her life, but escape and all of that. She did not approve of it. And, you know, she was crying. Her voice started shaking and cracking, and that happened, okay? So when Tamar was a guest host on Dish Nation, they asked her about it, and Tamar said she understood where Candy was coming from because Tony Braxton did her own biopic, and Tamar felt like Tony should have allowed her to at least pick the actress that was playing her, Tamar, or ran certain things by her. However, she doesn't believe that Carlos King is a thief and that Candy is taking it too far by calling him that. And she just, you know, inserted herself in it as if she knew the real story and knew Carlos, okay? And so Gary with the T, he was like, oh, so you and, you know, basically Carlos are friends, you know, you're defending your friend and Tim, I responded, oh no, I just met Carlos. Meaning we're not friends like that, I just met this man. But because I'm in the industry, I'm just giving my opinion as someone in the industry because unauthorized movies are done all the time. So I wouldn't go that far to call him a thief. You know, the whole situation where Carlos attempted to set up a meeting with Mama Joyce to get some information. It was a hot mess. I never did a video on it. But I'm sure you can research it and all of that. But all of that happened. And Carlos reposted a video from one of Tamar's performances. And he wrote, my B word is back. And he tagged Tamar. Now, all Tamar had to do was to respond. And this man, thank you. And that's it. But in typical Tamar Braxton fashion, she responded, my friend at Carlos King, who don't have to steal nobody nothing i love you as you can see carlos name is right there and tamar name is right there with the verification check mark okay now i get it carlos is a big time producer it's good to have friends in high places in the business because you never know when you will need them so i understand you went on his show and you understand his position so let me align myself with the right people but my goodness, you cannot continue to do things like this and then play the victim. Pay attention to the flyer on the screen. You will see that Escape was headlining this tour or this part of the tour that Tamar Braxton was also a part of. As you can see, their name is in bold and you can see them. And then Tamar name is over there at the bottom, okay? So what people are thinking is that when Candy and Todd and Escape got to the concert, allegedly what most people think happened is that Candy, Todd, Tamar, they all crossed path because they were all performing, excluding Todd, that they allegedly exchanged some words. So Tamar allegedly accused Candy and Todd for trying to get her removed from the show and stop her bag, meaning her money. Okay, so that's one problem. Another scenario could be, can you please stop bringing us up in interviews and in your Instagram lives? What about you and Candy? Are y'all cool? You know what? I, I don't. I've never had a problem with Candy before. We've always been oil and water. When I say oil and water, I mean that we just ain't never been the same kind of girls. Like yeah. she's never been the, my type of girl that I would hang out with. You know what I'm saying? And I probably ain't never been the type of girl that she would hang out with. You get what I'm saying? I do. But as far as that, as far as anything else, it's always you know we work well together. We get how each other are. And I always thought it was some respect there because it's like we see each other. So I got it. We got some respect for each other. Cool. Recently, she was out saying a lot of things. I'm not exactly sure why, because I never said anything about her. Candy just... The lies, Nene. But anyways, this video is not about her. My whole point is, even though that Instagram live clip is very old... Tamar be doing little things. Now, she asked a simple question. She wasn't disrespectful, 
but she didn't have to bring up candy so that's why i played the video to prove a point she does these little things where she insert herself in other people business and then when those people react then it's oh my goodness i'm the victim or i'm a victim okay and that's what's happening here and then of course allegedly they probably brought up the whole dish nation situation and tamar you know standing up for carlos and then going in her instagram story and responding and basically just getting involved in things that have absolutely nothing to do with her and probably there was some exchange of words okay because i'm sure tamar did not just stand there being quiet I'm sure she said something allegedly if this is about Candy and Todd they said something and then that was that but like I said Tim Mark did not provide an proof but this is not her first time Tim Mark does this all the time I remember when Tamar worked on the reel okay and she explained this story and she was crying about how someone called her a muppet and had the whole internet calling her dad and people were cyber bullying her for her looks and she was crying but not once did she mention what she did to lead that person to even go that far all she did was play the victim on the show and cried but never once mentioned that because she was friends with toya at that time and toya was married to the man that's on the screen the same man who allegedly even though he admitted but i'm going to say allegedly physically assaulted k michelle but because toya was tamar braxton friend at the time she decided to defend her friend even though she tamar braxton cried on tv about her own history with domestic violence and everything that she went through now i understand supporting your friend but to just come out and call someone a liar when you weren't there but kimmy show was vindicated because not only did she win the lawsuit where's that husband now divorce yes. and allegedly became aggressive towards toya and we also noticed that behavior when they were on marriage boot camp together also tamar where is that friendship with toya exactly so this is not tamar first time constantly inserting herself in some drama let me also just quickly add that whenever i put images on the screen sometimes those images might not describe exactly what i'm talking about but they have the people that i'm talking about in it so just making sure because i'm posting some images from the escape tour yeah, i don't want people to think but skip did not perform with tamar on this date and no i'm not going by their outfits and doing any of that if i'm talking about escape then i'm going to put escape on the screen regardless of where they took the picture and when as long as the current members of escape are in the pictures i'm wishing all of you well and take care now loves thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless you.